Well, the 2023 National League champs are back in full swing, and today the Diamondbacks are being honored for their championship win last season, getting iced out before tonight's game at 645 at their official ring ceremony. 12 News journalist Ginger Jeffries joins us live from Chase Field with all the action, and she loves Lourdes Gurriel Jr., and look at that hair. I'm going to paint number 12 on my face before the game gets started. I'm just saying. And Rachel, you know I'm a huge fan, huge fan of Guriel, huge fan that this team plays like a team. It's like a nothing you've ever seen before. And of course, on the heels of last year's World Series run and then dropping 16 yesterday on the Colorado Rockies, already making history, but I don't think we're done. And joining me now to talk a little bit more about that is the executive vice president, Colin Maxi. Man of the hour, Colin, how are you feeling? After last night, I feel unbelievable. Yeah, you were there. I mean, give me some of your thoughts in the third as you kept seeing rockets yeah. going out. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, you can't script it much better. You know, it's, I like to say it was one of those I was there when moments. You know, a fan goes to a game and they afterwards they say, I was there when they hit four home runs last year in the World Series in 1A. I was there when we batted for 44 minutes and scored 14 runs unforgettable memory and that's what baseball is all about and you know what the fans were going bananas last night even before blaze took the field there was chanting of blaze how exciting is this new designated hitter yeah well it also shows how much the fans are into it they get it they understood that was blaze's rookie debut um and he handled it great i mean how amazing to see him be a part of that 44 minute inning so happy for him as for his family and you've got a lot coming up this weekend. First of all, take a look at this shirt. So this is the giveaway for tonight. Oh, yeah. I already got my hands on it. I, I was, you know, had to beat yeah, some people off the, the boxes. I'm like, no, that's mine. I got my ticket. Uh, tell me about the promotions coming up this weekend. Yeah, exactly. I was at ring ceremony tonight, but then tomorrow, Corbin Bobblehead. Basically, it's his Rookie of the Year Bobblehead. He'll get his Rookie of the Year award tomorrow night before the game. Got to be here for that. And then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, we play a day game. Uh, and then we hand out the Gold Glove Awards to Gabby Moreno and to Christian Walker before that game. You're really making this a fan experience. And like I said, this team plays like a team. We've got superstars. We've got those big names. But this is definitely a unique team. Would you agree? It's a great team. And you saw it last night. What a great example. 14 runs without a home run. Everyone participated, got on base, got hits. And even when we didn't get hit, you got Corbin Carroll to walk twice and scored two runs. Full team effort. All right, great stuff. So tonight, you just heard it, we're having the ring ceremony. And folks, understand, we're not second place. We're first place in the National League, second in the world, but I have a feeling that might change this year. So coming up next hour, we're going to have a preview of the ring with the man of the hour. We're live from Chase Field. Rachel, I'm going to send it back to you. I can't hear you right now, Rachel, because, you know, the purple's gone to my head. <laughs>